Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maria. I have two little boys and I do videos on organizing, cleaning, cooking, anything and everything that has to do with motherhood basically. And we just recently moved into a rental home for a year and I'm just trying to get settled in. So in this video, I'll be organizing some of the kitchen um, and basically just settling in. There's a lot of stuff that needs to get done. And one of the first things I had to do, absolutely had to do, was to fix the couch. So this is the current condition of this couch. It's just, it looks old, even though it's not that old. And it was really expensive. So we're going to try to fix this. And I found a way to, I was going to actually replace these, but then I found a way to kind of save them. I ordered this polyfill we're gonna stuff those cushions and let's see what's gonna happen i really didn't feel it was necessary to invest into another couch if we're gonna be moving again and then once we have our forever home hopefully soon then i will definitely get a new one but this one is still in great shape it's just that we have little kids and they like to jump on the cushions and look how saggy they are they're just totally destroyed and it just doesn't look right. And um, so basically I was researching and I came across this trick that you just get more polyfill. And it seems like a no-brainer, right? But I just had no idea. Like, that's what you have to do. And I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. But I think you make a knot and now you sew it back up. But the weird thing about it, it's divided into sections. So if I want to fill this part, I have to open a hole and then stuff it and then sew it back up. So I have to do a double work technically, but anyways, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Just watch me break it. And of course, when you're in the middle of a big project, you always have little helpers come and help you. I didn't know how much you really actually needed to fill up those cushions. So I ordered a five pound one, which came out to be just enough. Like I wish I would have had a little bit more, but it worked out perfectly fine. And if I ever need to refill it again, I would probably do less than five pounds. But this one was enough just to make my couch look normal again. I will admit that this requires a little bit of patience and I actually got really hot just stuffing those cushions but um, I am so happy how it turned out like my couch looks almost brand new and I would now not even think about getting rid of it. When we just moved in we just threw things wherever it had to be like in that area so this is all under the sink um, stuff which looks totally messy because we just again threw everything in there and now it's time for it to be cleaned out and organized because when I go to the store I end up buying 
same stuff over again because I don't know if we have it or not. So I feel it's so important that once everything is laid out and it's organized, you can actually see what you have and don't have. And we ran out of trash bags the other day and I didn't know we were out of them. Um, so then I had to go buy some. I still had a lot of bins left over from the previous home that I need to to like repurpose and um, I found some really great that worked under the sink and again I didn't buy any of them I'm so happy because if you're living in a time or you know living somewhere temporarily you don't want to spend money you know because you're gonna move again so it was really nice that I was able to just repurpose what I have and make it work And a funny thing, I actually bought this under the sink mat for my old house. I just never got around, you know, using it. And then I got busy with packing and moving and it's brand new. And I just decided to get rid of this old one here and replace it with this new one. Okay, so I just hope that it perfectly fits. I hope I did the cutouts right. So fingers crossed. Say you love me, say you don't, just give me something so I can move on, pull me closer, or push me away, let me I honestly truly love to organize and I had to wait to organize under the sink because I had to make sure I didn't have my kids around because they'll be grabbing everything and anything. Um, but I'm a strong believer that less mess is less stress. That's a hundred percent. Like it speaks to me. So I was just wondering if you guys feel the same way. Um, some people like things around. I mean, I've known some people that don't really care. Um, and then I have some friends that actually love everything organized and they have literally anxiety attacks if it's not like in order how it's supposed to be. I'm kind of in the middle, but to me, I just feel that when something has its place, it's going to make it so much easier because you can always know where it is. You can always check the inventory. So now I can actually see what I have and hopefully I don't have the situation where we run out of trash bags and you know had to use like the target bag to take out the trash which you know it worked out and now since it's the new year i have made myself a promise that or more like a goal basically um to stay more focused more organized to take care of my health you know, self-love, I think, is really important as well. So I want to take care of myself more so I can take care of my family better um, and the house and be on top of things. Again, I want to make sure our home is clean, organized, and declutter for sure. I don't want any clutter in the house. I feel that that's the main thing that really... Um, causes all the anxiety I would say for me at least so I want to get rid of as many things as I can possibly and just give it to people who actually need it and will use it um, but also I just like I have this feeling that by the time I organize everything in this house it's gonna be time to move again <laughs> so um, but it's okay I'm okay with that mindset as well I've been eyeing gold or black new silverware sets and I don't know which one I should go with but that's one thing that I think I will be investing in or just switching out because I'm kind of tired of my the ones that we have or actually we got them as a gift uh, a wedding gift so it's time for them to go and I just haven't decided which one I want to go with I kind of want both again but that's not gonna happen And these bamboo dividers I actually had in my old house as well, which I love, absolutely love. I need to get more of them because um, you can just adjust them to whatever you want and 
you can always change things around and it's not going to be a problem. I finally decided that I need to have a calendar on my fridge and this is so aesthetically pleasing to look at. It's clear. It has like little metallic um, metal magnets that attach to your fridge so there's no mess or anything and you guys I love this because now I can write everything on there, events, and then I actually write things that we need to buy. So it's right there but then it's not like so noticeable. So you actually have to look to see it. Um, I'll show you in a second how it looks on the fridge, but I absolutely love this calendar. So there's two pieces to it. So one has the bi-weekly and then, or weekly, and then the other one is the whole month. So you can see your whole month and then you see whatever you have going on that week. And again, the way you see it on the fridge, it's not in your face. Yet, I think it's just, I think it looks really nice. So I love, love, love this. Honestly, I can't believe it's already a new year. So I just hope you guys have an amazing January. And if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.